Oversized, 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 oversized. Big and oversized. I like it big. Karina likes her stuff oversized. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina, and today we're gonna be doing one of my favoriteest videos ever. A Shein try on haul. As you guys all know, I do a Shein try on haul every single month, and as always, None of my Shein hauls are sponsored in any shape, way, or form. So you guys know you're always getting like maximum truth, honestiness with me. So because we're starting to get into late spring, early summer, I wanted to do some transitional pieces this time around. So we have some dresses and some blazers and also a ton of bags this time because I don't know what has gotten to me. I just went nuts on Shein and I just bought a bunch of bags. So. Yeah. Okay, first up we have this really, really beautiful, gorgeous light pastel blue pleated skirt. I don't know why, I have like a slight obsession with like pastel blue at the moment. So I painted my nails blue as well. So it kind of matches my nails, which oddly satisfying for me. I got this in the size US 6, which is a medium because I think I'm about to be five months pregnant now. So this is what it looks on me and this is how it sits on my waist right now. So it has no elasticity, which I'm slightly disappointed in, but I gotta say that the quality itself is on par with the rest of the Shein skirts that I've tried on and this one in particular does not have any inner lining so the inside just kind of looks like this. However, I will say that it's really lightweight and it is not see-through which is very very important. Sometimes you have like an inner lining and it's still see-through somehow if it's like white color. So yeah, the fabric is really smooth and it feels really comfy against your skin. It's not scratchy or anything. The only thing I wish for would be it to be elasticized somehow. If you guys find one on Shein that looks just like this but it's elasticized, please let me know because I'm a huge, huge sucker for elastic waistbands. So I just paired it with this white crew neck sweater that I already own. I just feel like the pairing possibilities are pretty endless. Um, as long as you're going with something basic on the top like a white crop top or like white tank top or something beige or even like other pastel colors like pastel pink or pastel purple would look really good with the skirt. I don't know if I highly suggest this. Maybe like 8 out of 10 for this one. This next dress, I'm kind of like obsessed with it. I really really think this is such a cute find especially for spring transitioning into summer. It's got a black base and it has these like tiny white polka dots on it. I usually am not a fan of polka dots because I just feel like it reminds me of like like a cross between Minnie Mouse and a grandma and I really can't visualize the end result of that so I try to steer away from polka dots. Maybe it's my inner grandma calling out to me because I flip and love this dress. This is a spaghetti strap tie shoulder dress so you can tie these parts however you want. You can hike it all the way up to like here by tying it a lot tighter or you can show It's your typical fit and flare dress which means there's only one zipper and there's again no elasticity which I want to mine is a thousand points for. Another thing I want to talk about is the length of this dress so it's just a little bit shorter than I would like it to be. That's what she said. <laughs> But I think most of that is actually due to my baby bump, so... Obviously, if you don't have a baby bump like I do, then the front of your dress would look symmetrical to the back of your dress unless you have a bubble bust, which I'm very jealous for. But yes, in case you're concerned about the length one way or another, maybe skip this one. Length aside, it is not lined on the inside, which also I'm like not too impressed with. But the good thing is that it is not see-through, so... Let's see if it's see-through. I don't think so. So yeah, we're good there. I'm wearing a size US small, which is a US 4. And at the moment, it sits very comfortably around this area. But obviously, as we move into the summer months and as my baby bump gets bigger, I wouldn't be able to fit into this anymore. So yeah, I'm going to be wearing the heck out of this one right now in the springtime. Also, I just want to say that if you are in an area where it does get a little bit chilly in the springtime, either in the mornings or in the afternoons, you can always throw on a cardigan. So this is just a pretty basic long cardigan that I have. It's a cream color, so it goes really well with this dress. What do you guys think? Do you like this dress? What would you give it? This next look can be both casual or on the formal side, depending on what you pair it with. So I'm starting off with this black tank top, which... As soon as I put it on, I could not believe it was from Shein. Like the quality is so 
freaking amazing okay i'm just gonna show you how stretchy it is without hopefully flashing all of you guys so so stretchy and i just checked and i got it in a size small as well so if you're in between sizes don't worry this is definitely very forgiving even if you choose the wrong size i'm in love with it i just gotta say this is one of my favorite shein pieces to date and i've reviewed like over a thousand of them definitely has my stamp of approval all over this it is not see-through it comes in 10 different colors so i'm gonna get the white one next and i'm also gonna get the avocado green one because that's a huge trend this year i say it, i don't like it but then i go and get all these things that are avocado green um, and then there's also a coral pink beige one there's a brick colored one there's a blue one there's a gray one you know what guys oh my god and it's only six dollars oh my god i can't believe it everyone should grab this one okay just grab this top believe me on the bottom here i'm wearing this shein premium pair of pants what do you call these are these considered slacks I just picked them up because I feel like they can be both casual because they're quite linen-y to wear like on a weekend or something if you're going out or if it's something that your workplace approves of, you can definitely rock this combo as well. I'm definitely for items that you can wear on more than one occasion so you know you're not like wasting your money by buying something and then just wearing it once. I mean, I really like the design of these pants but it doesn't feel very premium <laughs> to me. It's again, not lined on the inside and I feel like this is not a true medium. I'm gonna put all my measurements down in the description box in case you guys want a reference to what size I'm wearing and my measurements. But yeah, this feels more like a small, I would say. So if you are into these pants, make sure to size up. It's also quite cropped. So, I mean, again, depending on how long your legs are, your torso is, and your ratio in general, this might sit somewhere around your ankle or slightly above that or slightly below that. It does come extremely high-waisted though. So here I'm showing you, it's just like one or two inches underneath my boob, which I would consider it to be like an ultra high waist. And it also comes with pockets, so you know, at least there's that going for them. So yeah, all in all, I would probably give this maybe like an 8.5 or like a 9 out of 10. I'm just not feeling the fabric itself. I don't know. I got these sling bags from Shein about a year and a half ago. And I've worn these multiple times, especially in my work outfits lookbook. So if you want to see an idea of how I pair these with, you can definitely go check those videos out. I believe it's sold out on Shein at the moment, but I will be linking amazing dupes for them down in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Also got this black woven bag what's in here oh it's just tissue i thought it was like hidden treasure or something so yeah it does come with a non-adjustable shoulder strap like this and i quite like the simplicity of the design i don't know how i feel about this plastic chain dangly i mean if it was like gold hardware i think that would make the bag pop a lot more than black but yeah it is not removable again let's see if i can like force remove it don't 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 do it okay i just like legit just like pulled it out so i guess you can remove it let me do the other one definitely think it's a lot classier without this chain dangly on the side here what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below. So let's talk about this blazer. <sighs> First thing I noticed when I pulled out this blazer from my rack was that it smelled <sighs> terrible. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, you guys. This smells exactly like, I don't know, like what you would expect a factory to smell like. I usually take the time to steam out all the wrinkles in my clothes before I put them on for you guys, um, but I don't know why I had like forgot about this one. Maybe it's my pregnancy brain. But I do think that if you just maybe got rid of the smell somehow and took the time to steam out all the wrinkles, it might be a pretty good blazer. I wanted to like this so, so much because the model made it look amazing on the side. And as you guys all know, I'm a giant, giant fan of blazers, especially oversized blazers for the spring. So yeah, I was definitely expecting a lot from this. I got this in a size medium and you know what? It's not as oversized as I would like it to be. So if you want it to have that 
relaxed oversized fit definitely size up to a large or even an extra large I would suggest it does come lined on the inside which is a change from all the other online stuff we've been reviewing so far and it has shoulder pads which makes it seem more boxy than it is and I don't like the sleeves the sleeves are really boxy and it doesn't give your arm a flattering shape at all so I find that when you scrunch it up it actually looks way better than if you leave it down and pockets are real they're not just for show don't mind me I'm just having a black pink moment in this next outfit so I'm keeping the same tank top on the top just because it is so versatile and it's black and it's just my favorite thing ever and i'm just pairing it with this pink skirt and immediately after i put it on i noticed how stretchy it is not just around the waist area but around the entire skirt and also there's two sides of a ruched detail so you can definitely hike it as high up as you want or as low as you want and just throw like a sweater on top or you can even go for like that asymmetrical look for your skirt which i think is cute too so you can definitely change up the way that you play around with the skirt which gives it so much more versatility i'm wearing a size us four which is a size small i was surprised that it was this comfortable on me because usually for Shein smalls things tend to get quite tight but no this one is actually very comfy on me and I'm just loving the color combo Abi and the material is like a ribbed material so it's really comfy it's not scratchy it's not see-through so 10 out of 10 for this one let me see if it comes in other colors oh okay it doesn't come in other colors but it's only nine bucks so so then I just paired it with this pretty crystal pearl purse that I think goes along with it so well. I just gotta say though, this purse looks really, really gorgeous and super pretty when you're holding it just like that. But as soon as you start putting things in there, which, you know, is what the purse is supposed to do, it gets really weird really fast. So this is what it looks like with a mouse in it. It doesn't really look too out of place because it's white and you can't really see much. But if you start putting like your keys, your wallet, credit cards, like the colors would start to get really clashy, especially if you have like a really classy outfit going on. So yeah, I actually think this is more of a decor purse where you just hold it without anything inside the purse. But you guys let me know. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts? So because I'm crazy and obsessed with oversized blazers, I got another one in this light taupe color. I just think that this color is another super classy one that can last you for like a super long time. I also wanted to compare this Shein one with this blazer that I have. So this one is a handmade true oversized blazer that is made in Korea and I think the price point is like $175. So definitely not in the Shein affordable price range. So I want so I want so I want <laughs> So I wanted to see how this Shein oversized blazer compares with this one, so let's go. A few moments later. Hold on, oh my god. Talking is such a sport. This is my <laughs> Coke lemon water. So I added lemon and water <laughs> to my Coke. I'm Queen Obvious. Okay, first of all, I got this blazer in a size large because I wanted that oversized fit. But you know what? I should have gotten for an extra large. Lesson learned. Whenever I'm trying to go for something that's an oversized item on Shein that's not supposed to be oversized, always get an extra large. No! It doesn't come in an extra large. You know what? I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to be on a hunt for a great, true, oversized taupe blazer maybe for next month's jeans so stay tuned so this doesn't have a shoulder pad or does it oh it kind of does it has like a teeny shoulder pad but it's not like a true shoulder pad like this one like you can tell in the try on portion that this is definitely a lot larger than the shein one and again the pockets are only open <laughs> enough for one finger so i'm not sure if you know what let's just open it i got my scissors here so i'm just gonna use this and cut it I really want to ask Pete for help but I also really want to feel like an independent woman <gasps> I did it! it's a true pocket it's an actual real pocket <laughs> okay plus a billion points Shein <sighs> that was tiring <laughs> drink 
Oh. You guys can compare this chain blazer with the $175 blazer and let me know which one you guys like more. I'll be linking both of them down in the description box. Oh, and I'm also getting a lot of questions on where my biker shorts are from. So these biker shorts I've had for like I feel like two years now and I always reach for them because they're so comfy. They're not from Shein though. Um, they're from Nasty Gal, but I did get them about, you know, two years ago. So not sure if they still carry them. I'll try to link some other ones down below. Ta-da! Next up, <laughs> I got another, yet another oversized blazer because it is no secret now, okay? Karina likes her stuff oversized. That's what she said. So yeah, I got it in like practically all the colors I can get. This one is just a simple plain black one that I thought would be pretty oversized on me. So I got it in a size large and guess what guys, it wasn't as oversized as I thought it would be. So if you want that true oversized fit, make sure to go maybe like an extra large for this one. Other than the sizing issue, the other thing that I noticed about it was that it doesn't have any shoulder pads, which can kind of diminish the look a little bit, especially if you're going for like a strong like girl boss type of look. Thank God for these um, sewn on shoulder pads that you can find on Amazon. So yeah, I think I'll just be like placing these shoulder pads in here like this to like edge up the look but i'm really loving the simplicity of this so you'll notice that there's no like extra like gold buttons going on or like anything else other than like the muted blackness of this which is simple understated it's classy it's going to stay relevant for a super long time and the pockets ah what is this okay the pockets are sewn together do we dare try cutting it i don't know if this is a true pocket <gasps> There's nothing on the inside here that dictates that's an opening for a pocket, so I don't know you guys. I'm kind of scared because I really like this. I don't want to ruin it. Let's just go with minus two points for not having pockets. You know what it does have though? The audacity to not have pockets. I just think that you can pair a black blazer like this in so many different ways. You can pair jeans, you can pair with a simple dress. In my case, I just went with a graphic t-shirt dress that I thought would really, really amp up the edginess of the look. So. Definitely give this look a try if you're trying to go for like that girl boss or like motor chick association look. Let me just quickly apologize for re-wearing the same tank top for outfit after outfit after outfit. Is that a good thing? I feel like you guys can get so many more outfit inspo with one tank top. I just find myself reaching for this because it just goes with every single thing. Like these mocha pants. So I picked up these mocha pants because it has a side chain detail, which I thought was so unique and so fashionable. I'm not sure if it's okay for work. Let me check if it's removable. Nope, you are pretty much stuck with it unless you just take a pair of scissors and cut it, which would kind of defeat the purpose of you getting these pants. It just comes with a zipper on the side and no elasticity whatsoever i got this in the size medium and it sits a little bit looser than i would have liked at this point but i'm sure i'm going to grow into it soon um the inside is again not lined what is with all these unlined stuff she in not impressed but i just gotta give them credit for something that is unlined it feels exceptionally smooth and soft even with all the stitching on the inside you somehow can't feel it i was expecting to like this um, but it doesn't have any belt hoops, it doesn't have any elasticity, it doesn't have any pockets, which minus a million points for that. If you like the design, I'm not sure. I'm not totally loving this. I feel like you can definitely find other greater alternatives for dress pants like this on Shein. So maybe skip this one unless you really like it for some reason. Okay, next up I got this blue striped button-down shirt and I originally wanted to go for that oversized fit so I can throw it on on top of my existing outfit underneath but your girl picked the size small, you guys. Pregnancy brain. And this is what it's come to. So this arm area is exceptionally short. I just gotta warn you guys, do not get a small. Unless you have a very, very short torso, I believe this type of button-down shirts will look the best if you get something that's a little bit more oversized. And then all of a sudden, there's so many different ways you can style it. but. Since I got this in the small, the only way I can style it is by tucking it into a pair of pants or a pair of shorts. And I really, really wanted to style this shirt with something that's like a cream undertone or like a white pair of shorts or pants, for example, and nothing fits me at the moment. Yeah, I pretty much had a meltdown when I was trying to style this. I went through all the pants in my closet and none of them fit me at the moment except for this khaki pair of pants. These sweatpants are all that fits me right now. 
so I'm just gonna go with that but just putting this out there this is not the best color combo out there if you are styling this blue striped down shirt make sure you pair it with something that's a lighter color like basically what the model is doing right here but okay Sizing issues aside, I actually really like the fabric of this. Like everything about this shirt is pretty amazing quality. It's really, really crisp. Like the colors comes really crisp and there's a pocket right here. And yeah, like there's no loose threads or anything. And I just think it's really well made for what you're paying for, which is 17 bucks. I'm definitely gonna go back and get this in a size large or extra large if there is one. So I can wear it as like a throw on as opposed to like an actual shirt. So I was on the hunt to find a good staple white flared skirt for the spring and summertime because those are always like a good closet staple to have. It goes with so many things. And I picked up this one from Shein. And on the side, it looks amazing and when it arrives it still looks amazing but once you put it on it kind of loses its amazingness by a bit because I found it to be somewhat see-through and that is like a huge 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 wish that's what she said <laughs> I'm a statue and that is like a huge point deductionness for me. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I am wearing like nude underwear and it still kind of shows, I feel. If you can't see it, I assure you, you can definitely see it in real life. So that kind of defeats the purpose of wearing nude underwear to begin with. This is one example of something that is lined. So it comes with an inner lining, but this doesn't automatically mean that things will be non-see-through. So yeah, this is why you need to watch hauls, you guys. <laughs> the first layer is so thin to the point where it's kind of almost sheer. And then the inner lining is also sheer to begin with. So you have two sheer things added together, which doesn't really do much. I know for a fact that Shein carries more quality stuff than this skirt. Um, I will try to look for one in my next haul, so maybe one in May coming up. But yeah, definitely do not get this one. What you definitely should get though are these white joggers. I think I featured one of these joggers in black like a long time ago, maybe around the fall. And I remember really, really liking that one. So I got another one in white this time. And I just noticed that they improved one feature. So back in the fall when they had this jogger, um, the string here is tied to here it's like sewn on to the waistband so there's no way you can actually move it but now this drawstring actually draws which is a really nice improved feature so yeah definitely suggest this jogger is 2.0 better than the fall one even though it's white it's like oh my god like a hundred times thicker than the skirt we just wore so it's not see-through at all i mean i still wouldn't wear like neon pink undies with these i mean i would still try to like stick it to like nude shades or like white or something all in all i'm loving this it is so soft it's so stretchy um i got in size large because i wanted to accommodate my growing tummy it's not restrictive at all around my waist so that's really good you know baby can actually breathe oh it says here 89% cotton, 11% polyester. These does come rather fitted though, so they're not your typical oversized joggers at all. So in case you want it to be oversized, make sure you go like extra large or even like 2XL if you want. Oh, look what we're back in again. This black tank top that magically goes with every single outfit. So I'm pairing it with this black midi accordion pleat skirt. So this skirt, I also think is another really versatile piece. So you can style it in so many different ways and the color goes with everything as well. And I really like the quality of the skirt, you guys. This elastic band is super duper comfy it's not just like one of those that has like a tiny elastic so it like cinches in your circulation no this one is thick and sits really really comfortably on my waist and even though i got a size small for this it still fit me really really well and i didn't have to steam this you guys like this came like this with the pleats being so crisp and immaculate and like nothing is wrinkled and i'm so impressed i don't know how it managed to stay this pleated yeah 10 out of 10 for that skirt i also got this houndstooth blazer because it really reminded me of the one that Balmain had that was really popular a while back and to be honest guys i don't think i'm loving it i got this in a size small which is supposed to be a fitted blazer but it has no structure whatsoever like there's no shoulder pads and the way that the sleeves are designed make it seem like your arms are really bulky looking and even around the collar area you can see that there is no like hard 
fold down or anything like that so it's just like flopping about same with the collar at the back of your neck i would have preferred this blazer to be a lot more structured than this one is as you can see if i'm holding it up here it just kind of like droops down so I mean, the only thing that it has going for it are the gold buttons, which I absolutely love and how it's lined on the inside. And the material in general is a pretty thick tweed material, which is perfect for like the cold spring days. But yeah, other than those two redeeming factors, I don't see anything great about this blazer. I want to know what you guys think of this blazer. Do you like it? Leave me a comment down below on whether you would get something like this. So many hits and misses for Shein this time. Actually, I feel like there were more misses in this haul than in my other hauls. But one thing is for sure, the MVP of this haul is definitely this tank top here. Sorry, I can't stop laughing. Oh my god, this tank top goes with like practically everything in this haul. Not gonna lie, I kind of didn't want to change out of this for the entirety of this haul. But I kind of felt bad, so I did change. So yeah, if you don't get anything from this haul, Make sure you pick up this top. As always, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next haul. Bye. I love you all. So this is the aftermath of <laughs> my filming area. So I have the laptop going, which shows the item that I'm talking about. Um, and my phone here. And I also have these Thomas and Friends book because I have no tripod stand. So I'm just using this as my stand. It's really, you know, cutting edge stuff. And then here is my other camera, my drinks, my purses. And here is a bunch of shoes and clothes that I've tried on. It's gonna take me another hour or so to clean up here.